All right. As you wish. Welcome back to part five of Path. No, <laughs> Pillars of Eternity. This is not Path of Exile. Um, last time we bailed. This yes. Is Elven Indeed. Wizard man out from trouble of some uh, drunks, and uh, he has now uh, joined us on our um, well quest here. So we shall now enter the tavern. I'll take care of it. What's in the barrel? Beer and grain. Seems like what would be in a barrel. Welcome. Hello and welcome to the Incubator What's Up. Oh, it's you. Ten Frith told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discount on drinks, rooms. Tenforth said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. She laughs. So what would you like? A reliable... Some reliable help. Hmm. Oh, well, I wouldn't say I can speak from experience. But we do have certain sorts coming by and looking for work from time to time. If you want to hire someone, I'd be happy to send them your way. Let me see what I have to work with. It's a little expensive. Let's go talk to our buddy here. Ah, it's you, my savior. He makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around him. It's so good to be back. Do not think I will let you go unrewarded. I have decided that you have earned the right to learn one of the most closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well on your travels. So now, now I can make a pie? Okay. Good day to you. So we have for sale. I'm sure you'll find something of your liking. We have the finest cooks in Direwood. Okay, let's just let's start selling some of this stuff. Some stuff we don't need here. Definitely don't need two torches or two of this. Or really two of anything. Um, what's in my stash? I got a spear, a hunting bow. Was this another hunting bow? It's another hunting bow. So let's get rid of this hunting bow. Two daggers is fine. A medium heater shield, small shield. And some hide armor. Okay. Oops. Good day, stranger. I'd like a room, please. Certainly, you're always welcome. The common room. Just in the common room for zero copper. Absolutely. Your sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of the gilded veil gallows tree. The creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind until the sound is deafening. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face was shriveled inward like moldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side. As you look at her, she looms larger and larger in your mind until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly, your head snaps up and her eyes open and they are empty. And behind them is a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Your mouth slowly parts. And with a gust of rancid air, she speaks word. Watch her. You jolt awake. The foul smell of the dwarf woman's breath still 
permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets, and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her to King Face when she spoke with the magistrate. He called her an animancer. Thought is fills thought it fills you. No, though it fills you with new, queasy apprehension, you feel a strange compulsion to see the woman once more, if only to confirm she is truly dead. Okay, so I am now back well. on health. Great. How may I help? Well, as you wish. Well, I'll take care of it. I? Table has scrolls and some money. Yes. Right? That's good. Of course. Head back to the tree. So I can confirm that I'm going crazy. There it is. Okay. Yes. Of course. Why can't I click on this? Talk to this guy. Welcome to our lovely village. I have received confirmation that Lord Radric's heir was not born well. My lord has issued an injunction on all new homesteads until he can be assured that the village has been cleansed of all Aeothasians and whatever other undesirables that have brought this curse upon his land. It would be best if you left town as soon as possible. I would suggest returning to your old home. There will be no place for you here. You may stay at the inn until you can make the necessary arrangements, but I would not advise remaining long. I expect Lord Radric will be most thorough in his efforts to purify this place. Goodbye. What a shame. Thielen Failure. As you near, you feel a vibrant history contained in the essence of this man's soul. Voices from his past seem to call out to you. Reach out for the soul. As, a, as you see a pennant waving tall and sluggish in the wind, a rising sun embroidered on the banner the vanguard of a small troop of paladins, the atmosphere is buoyant if restrained and their armor has not yet tarnished by the elements. This expedition is fresh, young, filled with zest and zeal. At their head stands a commander, awkward in full armor but determined in step. Despite the excitement of his followers, he does not smile. There's a twist to his mouth, his co countenance grim. He throws up a hand, halting his troops. Silence falls among them, revealing a dark thunder, deep and low. He orders them to ready their weapons and spread out. Eyes dart from horizon to horizon. Necks twist to see the source of the sound. In the distance, dust and lightning rise from the ground. A Stygian clouds race towards them overhead. The soldiers stand only to staccato movement of their breath, betraying their nerves. The commander closes his eyes, calling a blessing down on his troops. Invigorated, invincible, they wait as the enemy draws closer, poised to attack. <clears throat> well? I'll take care can't, of it. Can't talk to him. Okay. Are you a giant? <laughs> I am not. Let's go check this place out. Well, of course. 
Wretched beasts. Worthen, a man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illusions of the faded sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeves soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near. His features twist with pain. Hail, traveler. I uh, thought you were some... Never mind. Wherever you are, you've traveled a long way to reach this dark place. This temple isn't what it used to be, probably for the best times being as they are. He groans and shifts with his positions wincing. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not one of the faithful either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. He regards you wearily. Maybe you'd have better luck. Better luck with what? The man points finger upwards. These ruins around us used to be a temple of Aeoths. Aeothas, the scattered god. A grand temple at that. His worshippers would come from all over Direwood. From Raid Crias, even. Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones, the ones that couldn't get it through their heads that their god was dead that their god was dead and gone. <coughs> get to the point. <laughs> As you like. Once the legend legacy started, Lord Raid and Rick decided he'd been too lenient on the Eothesians. <laughs> he had his people go in and put them all to the sword, left them down there buried under heaps of rock. Heretics or not, their dead didn't stop the legacy, didn't do much of anything at all. They didn't deserve to go out like that, chopped down in their own god's house. If you can get down there, find their remains, maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. Worthen breathes out. No small task. There's coin in, in it for you if you need motivating. A loath's cautious expression softens. A pleasant surprise to see that someone around here has a shed of respect for the dead. I'll find them. Then by the flame I owe you a good turn, but listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long it's crawling with creatures, but if you get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll be there still, if anywhere. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers, switches in the walls, trick sconces, and kinds of that kinds of thing. Keep an eye out and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your roommates. I'll wait here by the stairs to keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. Well? Alright. So we have a new quest here. I'll take care of it. Seems this temple below this town was ransacked. How may I help? Swing and a miss. Well, no prisoners. What is it? I'll take care of it. Let's clear up these spiders. Someone level up. So I have enough experience to level up. How do I do that? Yes. Oh, plus, of course. Okay. So let's increase athletics a little bit. And lore. And mechanics. And stealth. Okay. Good. 
fighter abilities. Defender. The fighter adopts a more conservative combat strategy, concentrating on defending incoming attacks. The fighter receives a bonus deflection, increases his or her number of engagement targets to three, but at an expense to attack rate. The fighter intensely focuses on his or her training significantly raising accuracy for a short amount of time. Steeds? Steedies? The steadies. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes. Steadies the fighter's arm, causing a percentage of their grazes to be converted to hits and increasing the minimum damage of melee weapons. The fighter devotes all of his or her energy to defe defeating Defending allies lowers accuracy but increases the deflection of nearby. Okay. All right. Yes. Jasper and a letter home. As you wish. All right, another spider. this initiates note campfire okay good bring, bring them down another spider Is this the big scary monsters we were talking about taken down monsters of the dreadfire or something something and we got scroll of jolting touch the fine sword 14 to 21 at average speed of course Go, look at me now. Look at boss. You can switch to new weapon sets by selecting the weapon icon from an individual character's action bar. Give the save. Alright, let's run over to this bookshelf. We got here Civil Silver Fennec. I assume that's some kind of money. It's locked. Hmm. Maybe there's a key around.
What is it? I'll take care of it. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Scoured these plates through the mold, still gross, green, yada yada. These collapsed stones are pocketed with burrows and narrow crevices, claw marks, and dung mark the passage for beasts. Trap is triggered. Okay. Amulet of health, max endurance bonus, and a garnet. Kevin Garnet. Okay, let's. Okay. What does the cape do? Nothing. It's just aesthetic? Okay, we'll use the. Um, Oh, you have a different cape. Look at that. You got a hood. What is your weapon? Scepter. 10, 15, 12, 17. It's fast. Okay. You're wearing leather armor. Just six. Six. Six, six, six. Okay, so I don't really have anything better. No, not at the moment. Ooh, actually, I was looking at that wrong. So this is seven. Minus thirty-five percent recovery speed. No, I think it's better just to keep his on. Alright, let's continue. Feeling the strain. Okay. Toughest fight so far. Well, wow, okay. That was pretty rough. for my mage guy so that's good it's looking pretty pretty dapper lore and mechanics and maybe some stealth oh boy oh boy There's a lot here Um, mirrored image. Fuses the caster with vitality, giving them a temporary increase in current and maximum endurance. Creates a bizarre and perplexing visual distraction, confusing enemies in the area of effect. 
bulwark against the elements. Creates a mystical shield around the caster, suffusing them with bonuses to burn freeze, grow shock, damage resistance. It's a rebounding ball of fire that inflicts burn damage upon anyone in its path. Sounds good. Done. Okay. So yes. They're both doing. Both level three now. I'll take care of it. Search this. Got negate and some coins. Okay. Spirit. A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, a shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. But stronger than sight, in the sense within you, a powerful energy. It roils and seethes with a grief that seems to spill into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a crushing wave, the energy surges towards you and into you, and suddenly you are elsewhere. Before you is a brightly lit stone corridor aligned with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echo off the stone around you. You forget to tie your sandals and they slip from your feet, fouling your steps. You're late again, the right's going to begin without you. You hear the tolling of the bell and your spirit lifts as you recognize the familiar warped tone of the right hand, representing the first of the d dawn, dawn stars to appear in the night sky and last to fade with the dawn light. You pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes and not the last. The light fades as does the memory, and when your eyes clear, the spirit's gone. Aloth, Aloth looks at you through narrowed eyes. Are you alright? You seem just lost just now. Yes, I'm fine. He folds his arms. That's good to know, but I don't suppose you could tell me what that was all about. I'm not really sure, it's just recently started happening. He raises an eyebrow. Indeed, at the risk of sounding patronizing, you should probably have that examined. He scratches his cheek. It's a shame that Lord Raedric is hanging half of the gilded veil. The veil and dwarf might have known something about your condition. Let's get to going. What is it? All right, so that is going to be it for this part of Pillars of Eternity playthrough. Um, Join me next time. Um, for anyone watching the live stream, we're still going to continue right now. I just need to stop the recording and start it again. And then we'll pick up where we are now.